VBA can help you to format phone numbers. Let's say in this column B, we want a formatted version like this one. All you have to do is create a function that does that for you. This is the simple function that does that. How did we get it? I will show you. It can even handle very messy phone numbers with dashes, without dashes, with a one in front of it, and we just want it to be this way. And then finally, I will show you how to do that with another VBA code that does that in one run for column B. Let's see how we get started on it. We go to Visual Basic with Alt F11, and we are going to start a new module. If you don't have one yet, insert a module. And in that module 1, we are going to declare a function. I called it phone format. It has one argument, the phone number as a string, and it's going to return a string. Declare a few variables, one of the integer types, three of the string type, and another one of the integer type. Then I set that s trunk variable to what the phone number is. Um, you don't have to do that line, but then I go into the problem, should I declare this part by value or by reference? I won't go into that discussion because that can be confusing for a lot of users. So I just make sure that s trunk is going to be worked on and it takes that phone number from the argument in the function. Then we are going to find out how many numbers does the number have. What are, so let's get rid of the dashes and the parentheses and stuff like that. So we loop through the whole formula s trunk. So you run from 1 to the length of s trunk. If it has 10 numbers, then it will run from 1 to 10. And it's going to check for every character if it's numeric or not. So you take the mid function of that s trunk, starting at position i, that will be 1, one element long, then 2, one element long, etc. If it is numeric, then I bring my counter up from 0 to 1, to 2, to 3, to 4. So I find out at the end how long my number is, including dashes, etc. If n happens to be more than 10, then I skip the first number, that is that leading 1. By taking the right function of s trunk, take the whole length of s trunk minus 1. So I have cut off the first number 1. Then we are going to loop through what is left in s trunk minus the leading 1. From 1 to length s trunk. I take the middle part again of s trunk starting at 1 one character long, etc., and I store that in S current. If that is numeric, then we are going to do a select case. We are going to check the length of S format, a variable that we haven't used yet. And we say case 0, if S format is nothing yet, it starts as nothing, it's a new variable, it starts as an empty string. If it's the length is 0, then I open my parenthesis. I have already skipped the leading one, and I hook onto it as current, which is the first character, the second character, etc. Case 3, I would do a closing parenthesis with a dash. Case 8, I would do another dash. And in all the other cases, I just hook on that S current, which is the first character, the second character, the second, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, etc. Then we close the select statement. We close the if statement. I do that only if it's numeric. And we close the loop. And don't forget, finally, to set the function 
phone format to S format that came out of these loops and these select case statements. The function should work fine. I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to call here the function format phone. You can either go to all functions or user defined function. This is a user defined function. Phone format. And there is phone format. I call it and I say I want number B3 to be formatted and there it is. And I copy that formula down like I did with the first one. It does even do very complicated cases. Here is phone format again. And I copy that downwards. And it will even eliminate the leading ones in case 6 and 7. And it does a perfect job. So now we are going to do that automatically. Instead of creating that function all the time. We are going to say if you are on a phone number. And we want the next column to be filled. Let's go to Visual Basic again. This time I create a sub. Not a function but a sub. I declare multiple variables again. I find out in which row we are and we store that number in R, so in whatever cell the user is. Then in which column they are, we store that in C. Then we find out how many rows do we have in the entire table, that is the active cell's current region, count the numbers of rows, started in I last. Then we insert an entire column to the right of the active cell. Active cell offset by zero rows in the same row, but one column to the right. Insert an entire column. And then we put a formula in range starting in cells 2, row 2. That means I have a header row with labels. Column C plus 1, that's 1 to the right of the active cell, up to I last, from 2, row 2 to I last, in column plus 1, the formula R1C1 function equals double quote, and then you type there what you would have typed inside the cell, equals phone format, open parentheses, the same row, but one column to the left, C bracket, minus one, bracket, close your format function, and close your string, and sub. And that should do the job. I made a shortcut for it. Control shift P. It doesn't matter where you are, in which cell, Control shift P will do the job. And it filled out automatically the perfect phone numbers. Once you know these tricks, you can tackle almost any situation that you want to format. But still, you may need more exposure to VBA and to Excel. So I created three CD-ROMs and two books. They are real books or e-books. You can find them at genesispc.com.